Sound Design 4.2. Again, we're using Arturia's Prophet 5, which is a great emulation of the classic Prophet 5 from Dave Smith's Sequential Circuits. Um, so for this one, the, I mean, the Prophet is really a classic choice for rich pads, especially from the, the vintage we're talking about. And putting together a really great uh, rich 80s type sound is not that hard to do. We've got two oscillators here, two oscillator sections that we can work with. We've actually got a, uh, some other cool things that we can uh, layer in here when, as we get further in. But first off the bat, we've got a mixer. And we've got oscillator A and oscillator B and we've got noise. We're not going to use noise for this sound. Um, we have the frequency selection in semitones and we have a frequency selector here for oscillator B and we have fine tune which we're going to take advantage of and right now I've got them both set to a sawtooth wave so if I do just a octave and a fifth here it's already not a bad start but listen what happens with just these two sawtooth waves selected listen what happens if I start to detune uh, one oscillator against the other Hear that sound really thickens up as you start getting a little bit of that comb filter going with that uh, that delay. That's a real key part of the sound. Uh, older analog instruments inherently had this quality if they were using analog oscillators and that the oscillators could drift out of tune a little bit. There's a cool function here in the top right hand corner where we can actually detune the oscillators from each other. So if I take this guy off for a second. There's our original, and add some detune to this, you'll notice the thickening that way too. Now it gets to 100%, it's, it's a little unpleasant for the sound we're going for now, but find something in between. That's got a really nice quality to it. Uh, if that detune function is not available on the instrument you're using, just use the fine tune control. You can get something pretty close to it. So I'm gonna go with that for now. A lot of this is also finding the right filter settings. If it's all the way up, it's probably gonna be a little bit too bright. But maybe not, maybe not. Uh, resonance. Maybe a sound you want to add, especially if you're doing any kind of sweeping effects with the uh, with the cutoff with with uh, some kind of envelope control. Um, I the sound I'm looking for is not going to use any resonance, but uh, let me find a cutoff position that feels about right. Okay, that feels pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, and this is something that's really cool about using the Prophet, is I'm going to layer in, in addition to that sawtooth, I'm going to also add in a pulse wave here on oscillator B. Play with that width a little bit. That's with it. subtle but it is a nice thickening there what the heck let's throw one in here in oscillator A as well all right and my amplifier uh, envelope settings over here are a little bit of a sort of fast to moderate attack time I've got a little bit of decay on it the sustain levels down uh, 50 percent two-thirds uh, again to taste and then a little bit of a release now one of the things you want to pay attention to if there's any envelope that's controlling your filter which we have here right now if the release is too fast you kind of get that strange reaction there uh, where the filter cuts off before the rest of the sound does and if this release is too fast you won't hear the release in the filter so there's a little bit of a balancing act between those two to get that just right
that's pretty good I like how that sort of curls away the uh, with the filter before the sound is completely released that's got a nice uh, sort of cadential quality after each uh, each one so that's the basic design try it on your instrument and see if you can come up with something that you like and if you like it store it as a preset